All right, y'all, we have one of these frozen pound cakes. I'm just gonna put it right here on my cutting board. And all we're gonna do is uh, cut this up into little cubes, all right? It's still a little bit frozen, but that's all right. It's gonna thaw out. All right, we're gonna cut these kind of bite size. All right, y'all, maybe bigger. No, we're gonna do them a little bit smaller, all right? So we're making a delicious no-bake dessert. Um, y'all, if y'all want to make your own cake, you can. If y'all want to uh, use angel food cake or something else, you can too, all right? But sometimes it's just easier to buy the cake already made. But yeah, y'all, do what makes you happy, you know? I always say that. Do what makes you happy. All right. I'm trying to cut these real good. Why is it called pound cake? Does anyone know? I, I don't know. Is it because there's like... You, I, I don't know. Do you have to like pound the dough when you make it or something? I don't know. Am I, am I just talking crazy? All right. So y'all, I'm just transferring these all over into a nine by 13 glass baking dish. All right. And I'm going to show y'all that in a sec. So our next step here, I have a cup and a half of whole milk. To this, we're going to add one box of vanilla instant pudding. All right. All right, y'all. Just like that. Now we're going to take our little whisk and we're going to give it a nice mix until it's smooth. It, it only takes like, I don't know, not that long. Like it's about ready right now. All right, I'm just going to do it for a few more seconds just for good measure. All right? All right, perfect. Now into this mixture, we're going to add, I have here some uh, Greek yogurt. I have vanilla flavor. We're going to add about a cup, all right? Roughly about a cup. Let's see. I think that's about a cup. So we're going to put that right on in. I'm going to add a little more. I like Greek yogurt. Do y'all like Greek yogurt? I like it. All right, so now we're going to give this a mix. We're going to just mix it till it's smooth. And uh, I should have used a bigger bowl, but that's all right. We're getting the job done, y'all. We're getting it done. We're getting it done nice and easy here today. All right, y'all. Mixy, 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 mixy. All right, y'all. This is a funny story, but you know, sometimes I do these videos where it's just me. And uh, it's actually my favorite day. On Sundays, my husband Fred goes golfing, and then I just, I'm home alone with the cats, and I like to cook and just be by myself. It's fun sometimes, y'all know? All right, end of story. There we go. So now we have this mixture. I'm going to move this to the side. So we have our 9 by 13 bacon dish right here. And again, I'm just going to spread these out. We have a layer of this cut-up pound cake, all right? Again, use whatever kind of cake you'd like. All right, so now we're going to take this uh, pudding yogurt mixture, and we're just going to pour this right on top of our cake, our pound cake, the whole thing, all right? We poured it right on top. I'm so excited, y'all. I love making this dessert. This is what, actually one of my favorite desserts to make in the summer because it's like, for a dessert, it's like kind of light and uh, refreshing, all right? Okay, y'all, so our next step here, I have one can of strawberry pie filling. So we're just gonna take this out and we're gonna, we're gonna put this all around on top of our uh, pudding in our cake, all right? All right, and we're just using one can for this recipe. So we're gonna, yeah, I, I'm, I was like, we're gonna spread it out. No, we're just gonna let it fall where it does, all right? That's, that's kind of how it is. That's how life is sometimes. All right, and we're just gonna spread it a little bit, just like that. All right, let's get some of this gel. I love this gel stuff, it's so good. All right, y'all, next step here, I have some Cool Whip, all right? So we're gonna put some on top. I have a, I don't know, about a third left of this big container. I have another container open here too though because I want a nice layer right on top, all right? And uh, I've also made this before y'all using fresh whipped cream. So y'all can do that too. It tastes good, I don't know, it just depends, you know? Sometimes I like to mix things up, but we definitely need more Cool Whip. Good thing I have my backup container ready to go right here, all right? Want a nice thick layer of Cool Whip right on top. So I'm gonna spread this out. Yeah, we're gonna keep that covered. All right, I'm using more. It's better to have too much rather than not enough, y'all. So guess what? We're using more. More, more, more. Cool Whip is delicious. Mm-mm-mm. All right, so we're spreading this out. Okay, and once we have a nice layer, like so, I don't like that that little thing is peeking out, so we're putting a little more right there. All right. All right, y'all, just like that. I got one more step here, quick and easy. All right, so if y'all want to leave it just like this, you can. I've made something similar before. Again, I think I made, I, I think I've made several videos of uh, versions of this dessert because I love it so much. But 
So now we're gonna, we're gonna make this one uh, a little more pretty, all right? Cause it's summer, we got fresh fruit. So I have some uh, sliced strawberries here. These are fresh strawberries. So we do have, um, we have our canned strawberry pie filling on the inside, but I don't know, I like, I like using fresh fruit too. And I like making a festive dessert for holidays. So this is an easy one to mix up because we got two beautiful fruits that are red and blue. So we got red, white, and blue, y'all, all right? So now I also have some fresh blueberries. I'm gonna put those right in the middle, just like so. So I like the mixture of the canned fruit and the fresh fruit. I think it's just great. And I think we're gonna do one more row of strawberries because I have more, all right? I'm gonna put those right down here. If y'all wanna add more fruit, you can. Do what makes you happy, that's it. Y'all know that. Secret to life. And get cats, right? Cats and do what makes you happy, that's it. All right, y'all, guess what? I have some leftover blueberries. Betty the chicken loves blueberries. They love them. All right, y'all. So we're gonna put this in the fridge for about an hour and then we're gonna cut into it. But I love making this dessert for festive holidays and all the time. That's it. All right, y'all. So here we have our no-bake dessert. This has been in the fridge for like two hours. But look, you can see those layers, that pudding. And we also used uh, canned strawberry. And then we used the fresh fruit on top because I wanted to make this uh, a patriotic dessert. So. I'm going to set this down, I'm going to serve myself some, and then uh, we're going to try it. But I know this is good, y'all. I've made this before. So remember, we used uh, Greek yogurt and pudding and uh, frozen pound cake and a can of strawberry pie filling and then um, some fresh fruit on top, y'all. I'm so excited. So I don't know what variations y'all would make with this or you have made. Um, I've done it before with uh, angel food cake, which is real good, but I don't know. Sometimes I just like this pound cake. I know it's going to be good, y'all. I'm going to slap the counter before I try it. Mmm, 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 mmm. Y'all, this is so good. I'm going I'm to eat this whole plate, y'all. Oh, my goodness. Y'all, y'all have to try this, seriously. 